scientific figures in the development of the proximity fuse, Merle II, Vannevar Bush, Alexander Elliott. Under Dr. Bush's direction, a thousand other scientists and many thousands of workers helped produce one of the war's most effective weapons. Its secret lay in a tiny, rugged radio tube, here compared with a regular tube, which made possible the installation inside these typical proximity fuses of a complete two-way radio set. The fuse itself, containing the radio, the detonating cap, and other devices, is fitted into the nose of a bomb, rocket, or shell. Pictures show how the proximity fuse increased allied power. These bombs are equipped with time fuses, not proximity fuses. Some explode too high, some too low, wasting much of their effectiveness. Now bombs are dropped which have been set to explode on contact. Obviously, they will not destroy shielded targets. They must make direct hits to be fully effective. Here, bombs with delayed action fuses fall. They penetrate far deeper than contact bombs, but their range of destruction is limited. The proximity or variable time fuse is exploded every time at the most effective distance from the target. A radio wave from inside the fuse bounces back from the target and sets off the explosive when the bomb is about 70 feet away from it. In diagram form, a contact bomb explodes like this. A delayed action bomb makes a deep hole, but has little effect on the man in the foxhole or the jeep behind the barrier. But the next bomb bursts in the air. It is equipped with the proximity fuse, called VT. In use against personnel and gun position, it was devastating. In airborne rockets and in anti-aircraft, the fuse produced sensational results. Its first air use was at Iwo Jima. The rocket is fired. The fuse mechanism begins operating and the radio sends out signals, setting up a zone of sensitivity of more than 3,800 square feet. When the enemy plane comes within this area, the rocket is exploded. and over land and water alike, the proximity fuse spreads explosive fury and produces vast destruction. It shot down 79% of German robot bombs in their last week over London. It shattered Japanese kamikaze suicide attacks. It was one of the most potent single weapons behind United Nations victory on two fronts. And its secret was never discovered by either the Germans or the Japanese.